Greetings to one and all present here. Today I, Ipshita Pradhan of Grade 9A, is here to represent Brightland School in the pre-competition of business startup. Plastic pollution. It is one of the most pressing environmental challenges of our time. Every year, millions of tons of plastic waste end up in landfills, oceans, and ecosystems, posing a threat to wildlife and human health. Plastic recycling is a potential solution, but it could be more efficient, costly, and energy intensive. However, there may be a natural way to tackle this problem. Worms. Yes, you heard that right. Worms, or more specifically, superworms. These are the larvae of a type of beetle that can grow up to 5 cm long and have a voracious appetite for organic matter. Researchers from the University of Queensland in Australia have discovered that superworms can survive on a diet of just polythene for weeks. Thanks to a bacterial enzyme in the gut that breaks down the plastic into smaller molecules. Our strategy is to find their habitat. Superworms live in tropical regions that are rich in flora and fauna. Area. Superworms are native to South and Central America, though they can be found in various tropical regions across the globe. Their ideal habitat includes decaying vegetation, tree bark, and meat. Pupation occurs in the soil. Many types of plastic containers can be turned into excellent superworm habitats. For example, you can use a bus bag under a bed storage bin. But problems are dump yards, which are also an excellent habitat. Maintenance. While too little moisture can kill them as they are tropical, but they are well adaptable in mid-hot temperatures of the dumping ground, which is an excellent solution for waste management. We just need a darkling beetle for reproduction. Our plan is to set up super warm waste management plants across the dump yards in the country. Our execution using waste management plants to insert millions of views of superworms in dump yards that will feed on plastic waste. The superworm waste management plants are initially breeding plants which will provide suitable conditions to provide beta lava apart from breeding plants. We need particular rotting matter to serve as a type of adult darkling beetle. Approximately, the total capital needed is 3 lakh for as a starting amount and 2 lakh is going to be spent on building the plant and rest will be buying expensive. Thank you.